So in this video, we're going to look at all sorts of examples around angles on a straight line that you could face in an exam. These are all the types of examples we're going to cover. So just to go into a bit of detail, in the first part, we're going to look at simple examples like this one. And then we're going to move on to looking at well, what happens when the, the line is slightly slanted and all these different type of orientations that you can have. And then we're going to move on to looking at, well, what happens when you have three angles at a point? And what happens when there's two lines or two sets of angles coming off uh, a straight line? And then finally, we're going to look at slightly trickier examples involving multiple lines and even scenarios like this where you've got to do an extra step in order to find X. So the way my videos work, I'm going to do the example on the left, which is I do. You're then going to grab a pe piece of paper, grab a pencil, press pause, and have a go at the example on the right, which is you do. So before we dive into the first one, angles on a straight line add up to 180. And just to show you that there's a gray line there, if I put my protractor on there, if I now measure that line from left to right, so there's zero there, if I go from left to right, that adds up to 180. And equally, if I measure it from left, from right to left, it adds up to 180. So now that you know angles on a straight line add up to 180, that means X here is going to be 180 minus 80, which gives me 100. That is 100. So these two add together to give me 180, which is angles on a straight line. So I'll press pause and I've got the example on the right. So hopefully you had a go at this one. It's nice and simple. You just subtract 80 from 130 and you get 50. So X here is 50. So moving on, again, the exact same principle here, 180 take away 120, which gives you 60. So X there is 60. And again, hopefully you've pressed pause and had a go at this one. So that's 180 take away 45, which gives you 135. And I should also say you need to write the degree symbol in as it's an angle. So in this kind of case, um, you can press pause and have a think about what X is going to be. Um, but when you see an angle like this, yes, it's not labeled with an angle, but that is a right angle. Now, a right angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so whenever you see an angle that's drawn like this, that's a right angle. So if that is 90, we're going to do 180, take away 90, which gives us 90 again. So X is also 90. So now moving on to this. Now, some people get a little bit confused when the line is slightly slanted. It's still a straight line, okay? And just to show you that, if I draw this line over here, that is this what I've just drawn here is a straight line, okay? It, it, the angles add up to 180 on a straight line. When I bend it like this, it's still a straight line. The angles still add up to 180, even when the line's like this, okay? The angles on this line, oops, let me just rub that off, still add up to 180. So this angle here still adds up to 180. So I've already covered this at the start, so this is going to be 180 take away 80 which gives me 100 so x here is 100 and again hopefully if press pause and add a go at this yes the line is slanted but it's the exact same principle so that's going to be 180 take away 32 which is going to be 148 degrees remember to put your degree symbol in as it's an angle and again the exact same thing here so you spot the fact that it's a straight line right there angles on a straight line add up to 180 so that's going to be 180 take away 62 which is going to be 118 degrees. And again, hopefully press pause and I go at like this. So that's going to be 180 take by 55, which is going to be 125. Again, sorry, I should say you need to remember to put the degree symbol in. So here the line's just upside down. But again, you spot the fact that it's a straight line. Angles on a straight line add up to 180. So that's 180 take away 27. And that gives us 150 three degrees and again hopefully press pause and add a go at this so that's 180 take away 18 which is going to be 162 degrees so now we have three angles so again it's the exact same principle we still have the straight same straight line the angles on a straight line add up to 180 so we're first going to look at well what does these two add up to so 60 plus 50 gives me 110 which then means this bit left here, since angles on a straight line add up to 180, that's going to be 180, take away 110 degrees, and that gives me 70 degrees. So again, hopefully press pause and add a go at this, so that's 70 plus 30, which gives you 110 degrees. Sorry, that should be 100 degrees. And then you do 100, take away 180, take away 100, and that gives you 80 degrees there for X. So again, another example, so that's 70 plus 50, which gives us 120 degrees, and then you do 180, take away 120, 
to get x and x here is going to be 60 degrees and again hopefully press pause and adequate this one so that's 45 plus 20 that's going to give us 65 degrees and then we're going to do 180 take away 65 to find x and when we do that we get 115 degrees and again so remember, whenever you see something like this, that is a right angle, so that's 90 degrees. Oh, let me just write that a little bit smaller so it doesn't look like 900. So that is 90 degrees, so that's going to be 60 plus 90, which is 150 degrees. And then we're going to do 180, take away 150 to find x, and x here is going to be 30 degrees. And again here, now notice this time the right angle is in the middle, okay? That symbol tells you that's a right angle, so that is going to be 90 degrees. So that's 90 plus 20, which is 110 degrees. So that means x is going to be 180, take away 110, which is 70 degrees. Moving up, and now just the line is, you know, sideways, but again, the exact same concept still applies. So we do 55 plus 30, which is 85 degrees. And then we do 180, take away 85, which gives us 95 degrees. And then here, again, hopefully press pause and I go at this. So that's 130 degrees, 180, take away 130, it's going to equal 50 degrees. Now, the reason I've put this in intentionally is because I've seen people get this wrong in the past where they think, well, angles on a line add up to 180. So what they end up doing is they're like, okay, if angles on a line add up to 180, in order for me to find x, I'm going to add 60 plus 50. So they do 60 plus 50, and that gives them 110. And they're like, well, if angles on a straight line add up to 180, then that means x must be 180 take away 110, which is 70. And that is incorrect. Firstly, always sense check your answers. You can look at this and tell it's an acute angle, okay? So just a quick recap on angles. That's a right angle. That's an acute angle, and that is an obtuse angle. So this angle, sorry, here is obtuse so obtuse means it's going to be greater than 90 so that 70 already there doesn't make any sense okay it looks wrong already so we're going to rub that off and just so you don't get confused it's angles around each line that's coming off this line so each angle that comes off this straight line adds up to 180 so just to clarify that this is a straight line okay angles around this point add up to 180 and angles around this point add up to 180 so in order to find x, all you need to do is you do not need to worry about this bit, okay? We're just focusing there. So it's going to be 180, take away 50, and that gives me 130 degrees. And again, so again, hopefully this example was slightly more clear on why that doesn't make any sense. So, so the way some people approach it is, again, angles on a straight line add up to 180, and then in that case, this must be zero, but that doesn't make any sense. So again, you don't need to worry about the angle on the left. We are just focused on this point here. So angles around this point here on a straight line add up to 180. So that's going to be 180. Take away 80, which is 100 degrees. So again, we are focused on that point there. So that's going to be 180. Take away 70, which is 110 degrees. And again, we're focused on that point there. So that's going to be 160 degrees. In this case, it's fine telling the questions asking us to find both x and y. So we'll start with finding x. So x is going to be 180, take away 40, which is 140 degrees. And then y is going to be 180, take away 130, which is 150. Sorry, not 150, just 50 degrees. So again, hopefully press pause and I go at this one. So we can start with x. So we have 180, take away 75, which gives us 105 degrees. And then for y, we have 180, take away 50, which is 130 degrees. Again, you can always sense check it. This is an obtuse angle. This is also an obtuse angle. So both answers must be more than 90. They are. So that seems reasonable. So moving on, now we have two lines. Again, people tend to get confused when there's two lines. But it's asking us to find x. And x is on a straight line by 30. So if this is a straight line, the angles here must add up to 180. So it's the exact same principle. We have 180, take away 30, which gives us 150 degrees. Again, hopefully you pressed pause and adequate example on the right. So this is a straight line. And angles on this line add up to 180. Okay, so 180, 
take away 120, which gives me 60 degrees here. Now it's at a slant, but again, look at where, where it's asking you to find x and look at what, what you can use to figure out. So we've got this straight line here where we have x and angles on a straight line add up to 180, okay? But angles also on this straight line add up to 180, but we're not interested in this line. It's not really helpful because x is on this line here. So at the minute, we're just interested in this bit here. So exact same principles as before. 180, take me 175, gives us 5 degrees. And again, hopefully you press pause and add a go at the example on the right. X is on this line here. Angles on this line add up to 180. So we have an angle 180, take away 35, and that gives us 145 degrees. So now the angle is just in a different orientation, but the exact same principles apply. X is on this line here. Angles on this line here add up to 105, so that's 180. Take away 105, and that gives us 95 degrees there. Sorry, not 95. That would give us 200 altogether. Sorry, a slight mistake for me there. So that is going to give us uh, 70, 60, 75 degrees. So looking at the next one there, so that is going to be... That straight line there angles on that straight line there add up to 180 so that is going to be oh well, there is a mistake there so I've made a mistake in this question that should not say 182 okay because angles on a straight line add up to 180 so a slight mistake by me there so I'm just going to cross that off and then we're going to treat this as 152 so that is going to be 180 take away 152 so that's going to give us 28 degrees. Now, this final bit is a little bit challenging because it's not quite obvious how you can get to x. So for example, first things first, where is x? It's on this line here. Now we know angles on this line here add up to 180, but we don't actually know what this is. So we can't really use this to find x. So then you're like, okay, what, what do I know in this question? Well, I know this angle is 40. Can I use that in any way? Well, that lies on this line. Angles on this line add up to 180. So let's see where that takes us. So let's just start with that. So if we do 180, take away 40, that gives us 140. Now, so we know that this angle here is 140, but the question asked for x. We haven't got to x just yet. So in order to get x now, if you go back to what we were looking at at the start, x is on this line here. Angles on this line add up to 180, and now we know what this angle is, so we can now use that to find x. So x is going to be 180, take away 140, which is 40 degrees. Okay, so looking at the next one, so exact same principle applies there. We've got this straight line here. We don't know, sorry, x is on this straight line here. So angles on this straight line add up to 180, but we don't quite know what this angle here is. So then we look at actually what do we know in this question? Well, we know that angle is 115. So we're going to use that angle to then find this angle. And that becomes 180 take away 115. And that gives us 65 degrees. And then we just do, well, if that's 65 degrees, then now we have angles on this straight line add up to 180. So we can now find this. So that's going to be 180 they create 65 which is around 15 degrees now if you're wondering why in this case that this angle here and this angle here are the same and this angle here and this angle here are the same so these are known as vertically opposite angles so vertically opposite angles are the same and this is one way that you can prove to yourself why they're the same so now moving on to the final example here so it's asking us to find x. Step one, what line is x on this line? Do I have enough information to find x? Yes, I do. Angles on this straight line add up to 180, and I know what this is. So the trick in this question is the fact that you don't even need this. This is just there to distract you or to put you off. So remember, all we start with finding what line is x on. Do I have the required information on that line to find x? Yes, I do. So that's going to be 180, take away 120, which is going to be 60 degrees. And... Again, hopefully press pause and I'd go at this. So x is on this line here. 
do I have enough information on this line here to find x? Yes, I do, because this side is 135, 137, sorry. So we're going to do 180, take away 137, and that's going to be 50, 43 degrees. So here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play for the answers. Here are the answers. So in this video, we've covered all sorts of different ways. You can have um, exam style questions around angles on a straight line. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like, share and subscribe. And there's lots more other content like this on my YouTube channel. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.